Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're gonna to see how the Noctua's NHD15 Chrome Max version stacks up against the traditional Noctua look. According to Noctua's website, both coolers have the same cooling performance, but the data seems to tell a different story. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. The primary difference between these coolers is the look with the traditional having exposed metal, while the Chromax version is covered in black paint. In regards to insulation, both coolers are the same, so all that's left is performance, so let's dig into it. For this test, we use the AMD 5000X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the NHD15's traditional look in blue performs similar to the Chromax version in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the traditional look begins to outperform across the board. However, the noise levels for both coolers remain consistent. As we pump up the heat to overclock levels of 130 watts, we can see that the traditional version slightly extends its lead. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have timbers on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers continue to perform similarly. As we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the traditional version begins to outperform slightly across the board. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the Noctua's NHD15 traditional version extends its lead. And if you're curious on how the traditional version does against a 360mm AIO, you should check out this video. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.